Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to create a piping system. Now, as you may remember from the previous lessons, before you can create a piping system, first you have to lay out the mechanical equipment that will operate your system. In the last lesson, we placed these two pieces of mechanical equipment, which you can see in yellow to the left of the blue structures. Now, we're going to create the actual piping system so that we can connect them to the mechanical equipment and join the mechanical equipment to each other. So, let's get started. To begin creating your piping system, first, left-click on one of the pieces of mechanical equipment. Then, holding the control key down, click on the second piece of mechanical equipment. They will change color, indicating they're both selected. Additionally, the ribbon will change. You'll see a new series of panels under Modify Mechanical Equipment, called Mode, Selection, and Create Systems. For this exercise, we'll be looking primarily at the Create Systems panel. Under that panel are three icons, Duct, Power, and Piping, each of which will let you create systems of that sort. If you remember from the last lesson on HVAC systems, we worked through this panel in order to create our duct system. This time, though, because we're interested in creating a piping system, we will go ahead and click on Piping. When you do that, you'll see a menu appear. As you've seen before when creating systems, this pop-up window will prompt you to provide information about your system, namely its type, and for this particular piping system, we're going to opt for Hydronic Supply. It will also ask you for a name. Give it the name that you wish, and when you're satisfied, press OK. After you press OK, another window will appear, prompting you to select what connectors you want to use for your piping system. This first window is for the first piece of mechanical equipment. I'll choose Connector 1 and press OK. Another pop-up window will appear, and I will again choose Connector 1 and press OK. Once you hit OK the second time, your piping system will officially have been created. If you need to make any changes to it, you can always select Edit System from the System Tools panel in the ribbon. Again, even though this is a piping system, Take note of how similar the process is to make changes to our piping system as compared to our duct system. To reinforce the concept, though, let's go ahead and click Edit System. Now we can add additional components to the current piping system. If you find that you have more items or equipment than you need, you can also always remove them through the same ribbon. If you're happy with everything that you have, and don't need to add or remove anything else to your system, you can go ahead and just click on Finish Editing System, and it'll be set. In order to see your piping system, just as in all previous systems, you can click on the View tab, and then from the Windows panel, click User Interface, and then System Browser. Again. Even though we're in a different discipline, note how similar the process is between piping and HVAC. From the System Browser window that comes up, you can click on the plus sign next to Piping, and then the plus sign next to Hydronic Supply, and you can see all the different elements that make up your piping system. Everything that we've created so far in this lesson will be listed under Hydronic Supply. So when we click the checkbox next to Hydronic Supply, Hydronic Supply 1, which we created, comes up. And the plus sign next to that will show us all the individual components, namely the two mechanical devices. 
if you want to see more information from the system browser window, all you have to do is expand the system browser window and more data will start to show up. Additionally, if you click on either of the mechanical devices in the Hydronic Supply 1 under the system browser, you can see its information under the Properties window. Additionally, you can add or delete different devices from the system browser. So in review, in this lesson, we showed you how to create a piping system and how to see it in the system browser. Thanks for watching.